for the Cavaliers, their first possession. Banker throws, and it's incomplete, and it's three and out. Look at those splits, trying to create those running lanes in there. Good job of picking up the twist. The problem was, you got to line up right, hand it off underneath. Banker to pass. Pass is complete to Keon Johnson. The senior has his 12th. But they're clearly getting up to the line pretty quick. Big hole for Mizell. Another first down for Virginia. Behind Jackson Mateo and Jack McDonald, the center 50 and the right guard, 71 rushing in the game. There's the ability to run. Benkert will throw it out to Mizell. Mizell inside the 15. Now Reed alone in the backfield for Benkert. Throwing outside, another first down as... Really good in the pocket. He knows where he's going with the ball. First and goal from the five. Benkert throws behind his intended receiver. To not give an inch. This very well may be four down territory. Virginia does not have a lot of faith in its kicking game right now. And it will be going 2-0, including a 30-13 win in Provo last year. Pass is complete to Keon Johnson. On average. Banker to throw again, and that will... Pass is complete, incomplete, but a fly comes in. Win, Fotokasi did on that play. Banker has a man open, and good. Third and five. Plenty of time for Benkert, and he throws outside for the first down to... The running back on the Bolitnikoff watch list. That tells us something. Benkert, little touch out to Mizell, who has another reception. Matt Walsh gets there. Football gets released, and he takes... Benkert on third down. Complete. Keon Johnson has enough for a first down. Two on third down. Look how quick this football comes out. We see it every Sunday in the National Football League where it's about the pace with which the ball comes out of the quarterback's hand and a nice shot is getting Reed for a one-yard game. Pinkert. Short. Three by one. Three wide receivers to the left. One to the right. Banker looking left the whole way, and it's complete inside the 10. Going to be broad pressure from the second level. I don't think he can really get there. You see, he just squats down in the... Johnson, third down and short. Back to the ground to Reed. Wide open hole for him to walk into the end zone. Plays 90 yards, ending with this touchdown. And Jamar Summers, number 21, just overruns the play. You saw him there where the line... You are confused. I am. This time. Yes. First and ten for Virginia. Their first possession, three and out. Their next two possessions, an 86-yard. Get their skill players in space and force UConn to tackle. First and 14. Bankert throws it out of bounds. Second down for the Cavaliers. That one is incomplete. So bang to keep moving the chains for Virginia in this first half. Baker incomplete. Virginia five for nine on third down. They are out of timeouts. Now some pressure coming for UConn. Banker on the run. And it's incomplete. Virginia credit for the first down, but now they move the ball back to the 13-yard line. First and ten. Trying to turn the corner, but UConn there. The defense is carrying the load. Is the offense eventually? That's something Bob Diaco is going to have to manage. Pass to the outside, and UConn gang tackling. Could loom large for the American Athletic Conference. Third down at four. Batted down. Carrizola there to break. This defense was a little behind. They played great today so far. And this defense has its first takeaway of the season. Reed is to the right with both running backs in there. It puts you in a compromising situation as to what you do personnel-wise for UConn. Second and ten. Complete. Dubois, the freshman. Great job by Dubois as well. Wiggling. 
Bankert underneath to Mizell, and Mizell, his last start was in November of 2012 in a high school playoff game for Island Coast High School. So it had been a while the fourth quarter here in East Hartford. Bankert to pass again. Now some pressure, and UConn comes up. Ninth of his career. First one given up today by Virginia. And on third down and long, almost complete for the Cavaliers. Nice coverage down the sideline by the Jim Thorpe, Chuck Bednarik, and Bronco Nagurski watch Lister Jamar Summers to make sure they keep his head in the football game. He struggled this year. They can't have him check out. What a return! UConn answers back. Jamar Summers with the interception. And just like that, UConn's defense answers. Another big play from Jamar Summers. Let's take a look at the pick right here. Ben Kurt on time. Great job of Summers to jump that route. And to get in front of the receiver. That is fantastic work by Jamal Summers. Of course, he had the big play last week with the scoop and score touchdown for Navy, or against Navy. And now a big interception that gets the football right back into the hands of the UConn offense at Pratt Whitney Stadium. And last week, Jamar Summers with the big play to get UConn back in the game down at Navy. It was an 86-yard fumble return for a touchdown that tied that game at 20. Line 7.55 to go in the fourth. UConn buzzing defensively. Virginia going to the ground, and Mizell hurdles out. Bottom of the screen lined up out wide. Here is Albert Reed. Reed with a good carry, and Reed breaks through. Mello. Now on first down in Yukon territory, and the give is to Reed, and Reed has a hurt. Get him down close enough to kick a field goal or score a touchdown. They've heard the pass, looking for a lot of it here on first down, and it is caught. What a grab by Donnie, thinking end zone, 31 yards. Drops it right in there. That covered with a great catch. across the middle now this will Bankert looking left side again this time for Keon Johnny get vertical again just out of the reach third and ten Bankert flushed out of the pocket throws it up for grabs in the middle and it is complete the first three yard line for a first down Bankert across the middle has a man open First down, caught by Keon Johnson.